Hey other people, how are you doing? So, we have our first camera comparison for the Mi 11 Ultra. God damn, I've been waiting months to say that. But hey, we have it, and this time it's going up against the X60 Pro Plus. It's a fairly tough contender for its first camera comparison, I gotta say that. And if you didn't know already, the X60 is quite possibly the best photography smartphone in its price point. Like, nothing else even comes close as far as I've seen. Now, I've also heard a lot of good things about the Mi 11 Ultra, so let's see how it fares. So for our very first image here, nothing crazy going on, it's a pretty simple image, but there's definitely a difference in contrast. I can definitely see, you know, a more punchy look going on for the X60. While the Mi 11 is taking a flatter approach, that's definitely a departure compared to, you know, what we had before, let's say even for the Mi 10 last year. I like that approach, it's not bad, but for this image, I'm actually gonna go with the X60, because if you look at the road, you can see it. We have a magenta tint, and that's that's gonna be present in the following images as well. Now, even for this one, you know, differences in HDR or sharpness is basically not present. Both are fantastic, but in the colors, it's definitely obvious. Now you can see that magenta tint present in the road, the, even a little bit in the sky. So yeah, color accuracy. I mean, it it was already one of the strongest suits of the X60 right there. So I'm not really surprised that it is pulling ahead, but the lack of other differences that's definitely something to keep in mind now up next we have an ultra wide shot here and here i think the color accuracy is actually much better on the mi 11 it's definitely much closer to the x60 which i would consider ideal in this case and to be honest both look really good here the x60 is a little bit brighter overall but other than that both of these ultra wide shots they look great of course we gotta test out zoom because we've got a fair bit on both of these but once again, just, just take a look at that magenta tint. It happens on many images and it's definitely an issue that I do hope Xiaomi can fix sometime in the future. Now firstly, we have 2 times zoom on both and it is optical on the X60 which is a fair advantage over the Mi 11's digital zoom. The difference in detail is very obvious and I also like how the contrast is on the X60. It's definitely looking more punchy and I personally like it quite a bit compared to the Mi 11's more flatter look, but upon zooming in to 5 times, well there the tables are turned because now Xiaomi can use its insanely high quality 48 megapixel sensor to give us some absolutely beautiful photos. The X60 is not bad, but compared to Xiaomi's offering, it's definitely lacking. And it's even more obvious when we zoom into 30 times. Here, you can see just how many more sharpening artifacts are present on the X60 compared to the Mi 11. And I mean, I'm not even considering the difference in color. It's quite a bit better this time around on the Mi 11. And then we have 120 times zoom on the Mi 11 Ultra. That's that's interesting, I guess. I mean, it's pretty terrible. You can see it's actually worse than the 60x zoom on the X60. Now of course you might be thinking that yeah obviously 120x is gonna look worse than 60 but bear in mind the X60 has a very low quality 8 megapixel sensor compared to that the 48 megapixel sensor on the Mi 11 Ultra is supposed to perform really well and it has but 120x is obviously pushing it a little too far. Now for high resolution well this is where things are gonna get quite interesting because as you can see both are exposing differently so i used tap to expose on the x60 and this time it's very similar and there is indeed a dynamic range loss I'll, I'll show it off a little bit better in another shot but for now let's zoom in and yes indeed there is a fair bit more detail present on the mi 11 ultra it's it's quite a big difference and not something i really expected considering both are 50 map pixels but it seems like Xiaomi is definitely doing a better job here. Next up for an ultra wide shot, here, well, obviously you can see that a lot of the shadows are being crushed and some of the highlights are also being blown out for both of them. So I took a 12 more pixel image on the X60. Yeah, check out that dynamic range. God damn. I really wish it wasn't this drastic, you know, the loss in dynamic range is quite obvious here and so you gotta keep that in mind when you're taking high res images. But of course, to check out the details, we gotta crop in, and this time around, it seems the X60 is pulling ahead. You can see the overall sharpness in the leaves, and even on the building, it's much better on the X60 compared to the Xiaomi. So yes, up until now, pretty neck and neck. It's gonna be like that for a little while longer. 
So here we have 2x zoom but 32 megapixel version on the X60 Pro Plus and well nothing like that is present so I just cropped into the 50 megapixel version for the Mi 11 Ultra and the detail difference is very obvious. Let me crop in a little bit more and you'll see for yourself. That, that's pretty huge if you ask me. Obviously having optical zoom has its advantages and that's exactly what you're looking at. 5x zoom however is obviously gonna be ridiculously good on the Mi 11 Ultra. It's 48 megapixels of course compared to just 8. That 40 megapixel difference translates to a lot. Like I don't even need to point out anything here, it's way too obvious. And so now let us move on to what I would consider a stable image for you know basically all of the photography comparisons that I've done on this channel. It's good old Valentine with the studio backlight and well as you can see Mi 11 Ultra really likes to take the processing approach. Like it's it's very obvious and it kind of reminds me of how pixel images look. The X60 on the other hand goes for a much more natural look. You can see it's like blowing out the highlights while also keeping it well under control. It's not letting it you know feel too overbearing. I actually like that approach a lot. I'm pretty sure that there will be a lot of people who enjoy this highly processed look on the Mi 11 Ultra. I'm personally not the biggest fan but it has its advantages. There is definitely a lot more sharpness present in the shadows especially for the Mi 11 Ultra but the colors are still more accurate on the X60 Pro Plus. So yes there are a good set of differences here. Now to my eyes obviously I like the X60 but because it's kind of personal I'm gonna go for a tie here. Now for the ultra wide in a similar situation, well, it's also basically a tie. Both are doing a great job here. Yes, the Mi 11 Ultra is handling the highlights maybe just a pinch better, but really it's not that big a difference. To be honest, it'd be wrong to call out a winner here. So yes, a tie it is. Now macro photography, well, this is where things get kind of interesting. I didn't think it would, but it does. So as you can see, the X60 Pro Plus can get a fair bit closer compared to the Mi 11 Ultra. Like I didn't really expect that to be the case but that's how it is and it's kind of sad because if you think about it there are phones out there like the S21 Ultra which can get even closer compared to the X60 so like compared to phones like those. The Mi 11 Ultra is really falling behind in terms of macro. Here's another image and you can see for yourself just how much closer the X60 can get. This is the maximum I could go with the Mi 11 Ultra before it was just getting out of focus. And now let us move on to portraits. Now this is where things are gonna kind of differ obviously. This is where things get kind of personal. So first and foremost I like the skin tones on the Mi 11 Ultra. Don't really think I'd start off by saying that but hey surprises will happen. There are other differences here as well. The highlight control seems better on the Mi 11 Ultra. The contrast is really nice on the X60 and the overall details are also sharper. And finally, the color of my shirt is more accurate on the X60. Now for this one we've used 2 times zoom and as you remember, the X60 has optical zoom which obviously nets us some amazing detail and sharpness which is just not present on the Mi 11 Ultra. That's just how it is. And as for the overall colors and contrast, I obviously prefer the X60 here. I really like the skin tones and yeah, the highlights are a little blown out compared to the Mi 11's more flatter image. But other than that, the overall contrast looks really good and there's a lot of punch in the image even though the situation is kind of harsh in terms of lighting. So yeah, I'm really going with the X60 here. Now here's another 2x zoom portrait and this time it's more in medium indoors lighting and I also use a biotar effect on the X60. You can see the swirling bouquet right there and well the more bouquet you have the better it's gonna look. But other than that I actually like how the X60 looks here. It's a bit brighter obviously and I would have liked a little bit more saturation but the detail levels are definitely better on the X60. The overall sharpness looks really nice and that's primarily the reason why I'm gonna go for it. Now up until now things have been pretty close in terms of portraits. 2x optical zoom obviously puts the X60 at an advantage and so with night mode portraits I think it's pretty obvious that the X60 is gonna get an overall win in portraits that is. And next up we have selfies and well at least for this image I can tell you right now the difference is basically negligible and I'm just gonna call this a tie. Yes there is a little bit more contrast in my face on the 
Mi 11 Ultra, but that's the only difference. So yeah, I'd say both are doing plenty well here. But for this portrait selfie right here, here I'm definitely gonna go with the Mi 11 Ultra. The X60, as I've mentioned numerous times before, is desaturating skin tones a lot and that's been one of the few issues I've had with the X60's photography. So that's very much visible here and it's also why I'm picking the Mi 11 Ultra. Now for this one, well this is kind of a tricky situation, it is fairly backlit and as you can see both are doing fairly well but I kind of like the X60 here because I feel like there's a bit too much warmth on my face for the Mi 11 Ultra. It's not bad, I like the saturation in my skin but the warmth is a bit too much. I mean, it's a very personal thing, like skin tones can be highly personal if you like the look of the X60 or the Mi 11 Ultra, then go for it. I'd say that's up to you. Now there is a little trick that Xiaomi has up its sleeve that makes the Mi 11 Ultra probably the best selfie camera out there. You can use that tiny little screen that's built into the camera module to use a rare camera for your selfies. Trust me, it's very difficult to look at and really try and frame it because it's just so small. But even so, I'd say the results are worth it. And obviously the sweetest cherry on top is the ultra wide camera. You know, after like a hundred years when you can finally get together and take huge group selfies. Yep, the Mi 11 Ultra is just gonna be fantastic for it. Now, unfortunately, you cannot use the rear display for night mode selfies or portrait selfies. That's really sad and I think it's a missed out opportunity. But for now, the selfie camera with its night mode is not particularly great. I much rather prefer the X60's approach here. It's definitely focusing on brightening me up as a subject and that's definitely something you'd want as well when you're taking a selfie. Now then finally, we have night mode. Well, yes, I was out right in the middle of the rain trying to take these photographs. Yeah, I mean, I, I wanted that wet look and it looks amazing if you ask me. Overall, both of these phones are producing really great images and I, I, I honestly don't have any complaints at all. Now then, moving on, we have this image. This was taken just to see how well lens flares are handled and it's clearly better on the X60. So let's move on to the ultra wide camera here. Overall, I like both of them, but I do prefer the X60 because it is brightening up the shadows a bit more. Yes, it is blowing out the highlights just a tad bit more compared to the Mi 11 as well, but overall I like how the X60 looks. There is also a bit more sharpness present on the X60, so yeah, essentially I said this like thrice already, but yeah, I'm gonna go with the X60. Now, two times zoom with night mode. As you'd expect, that is obviously gonna be better on the X60 because it has optical zoom. I, I wish we had some kind of 2 times or 3 times optical zoom on the Mi 11 Ultra. It, it definitely comes in handy, not just night mode, portraits. That's where it really gets good. But then for 5 times zoom, well here, yeah here the X60 kind of falls apart. Having that tiny little 8 megapixel sensor is not gonna stand up against the much larger, much higher quality 48 megapixel sensor on the Mi 11 Ultra. I probably don't have to but even so I'll just zoom in a little bit just to show you guys the difference. Now for ultra low light, well I was kind of fortunate enough to find this little patch where none of the street lights were turned on and it was a terrible place to drive let me tell you right now, it was pitch black. But apparently these sensors here can see a lot, that's pretty evident right here. Now there is a green tint on the Mi 11 Ultra, I'm not really a huge fan of that, so I'm gonna go with the X60 here, but other than that, I'd say that noise reduction, sharpness and all that good stuff, it's equally great on both. Now in similar conditions, I took this ultra wide image. I guess the Mi 11 Ultra was trying to, you know, incorporate how it looked like in real life, I guess. Because that's not good. I mean, it took a three second long exposure. Why? Why did it take such a long exposure if it was just gonna give me a dark image? I'm not really sure what happened here. I took this image five times, so this is exactly the same result I got. But on the X60 Pro Plus, on the other hand, well, would you look at that? It took a five second long exposure. It was obviously very easy because of gimbal stabilization. And as you can see, the results speak for themselves. I, I don't think I have to say anything here. It's such an amazing image, you know. I'd say still, even against the Mi 11 Ultra, the X60's night mode still prevailed. 
all right so that is the end of the camera comparison yeah i know it was a very long one and yeah goddamn i i don't think i can pick a winner here because you yeah, if you think about it the differences were minor at best yes there were some obvious ones like you know the presence of two times optical zoom on the x60 and the presence of fantastic five times 48 megapixel optical zoom on the mi 11 ultra but other than that like if you think about it you know even in portraits that's probably where i thought we'd find differences but that's not really the case and night mode as well other than the ultra wide ultra low light night mode their differences as i said before were minimal to say the very least but you know it's still damn impressive that the mi 11 ultra tied so very well with the x60 pro plus like in this price range i don't think there's any other device that can do that so that's definitely something to keep in mind if you want good photography both of these can provide it and depending on your use case and you know the type of photos you take you're gonna just have to choose one for yourself but there is one thing to keep in mind though if the Mi 11 Ultra can actually provide good videography along with this kind of amazing photography, well, then things are gonna look up for it. So that kind of makes me look forward to the videography comparison next because that's gonna be very interesting. So yes, if you also wanna check it out, definitely hit that subscribe button. I'll be making it soon enough. And of course, hit that like button if you enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys later. Cheers.